As the number of COVID-19 cases across the country is rising, three states have contributed to over 40% of all recent positive cases, according to the White House on Thursday. White House COVID-19 response coordinator Jeff Zients said Florida, Texas and Missouri were contributing the highest number of cases, with Florida accounting for one in five positive cases for the second week in a row. Those states also have some of the lowest rates of vaccination, Zients said, adding that within communities, these cases are primarily among unvaccinated people. But in Florida and other states with high case numbers, he said, such as Arkansas, Louisiana, Missouri and Nevada, people are also becoming vaccinated at greater rates than the rest of the country, an encouraging trend. People in these states are feeling the impact of being unvaccinated and are responding with action, Zients said. Texas Governor Greg Abbott recently said he would not impose another mask mandate, while some other states and local officials have implemented him to combat the Delta variant. Nearly half the country has been fully vaccinated, according to the latest data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, but a rise in case numbers is being attributed to the highly spreadable Delta variant. While breakthrough infections do occur among the vaccinated, Zient said 97% of hospitalizations and deaths have been among unvaccinated individuals. Nine firefighters battling the largest wildfire in the nation, the bootleg fire in the Fremont Winnemar National Forest in southern Oregon, have tested positive for COVID-19. They are being quarantined away from the fire camp. Students, teachers and staff at Chicago public schools will be required to wear masks indoors when school begins in August, officials said. Several North Carolina hospital systems will require all employees to receive the COVID-19 vaccine in order to continue working in person, the North Carolina Healthcare Association announced Thursday. The move comes as the country's largest hospital association is calling for all healthcare workers to get vaccinated. In Kentucky, 95% of all cases, 92% of hospitalizations and 89% of all deaths between March 1 and July 21 were among partially vaccinated or unvaccinated people, according to Governor Andy Beshear. Those percentages are from a total of 61,292 cases, 3,109 hospitalizations and 447 deaths. Keep refreshing this page for the latest news. Want more? Sign up for USA Today's Coronavirus Watch newsletter to receive updates directly to your inbox and join our Facebook group. The Italian government on Thursday approved a measure that will require individuals participating in public life to present health passes containing information about their COVID-19 status beginning August 6.